I spent the entire night analyzing these satellite indicators. The cloud over the island appears a week ago. The charge field is shaped like a funnel, but the particles change the direction of the rotation in a random manner, thus breaking the symmetry principles, creating... Quantum effects we know. Show me how the amount of the energy in the system changes. It seems to be a sustainable natural anomaly. We don't have enough data for such a conclusion. We can build a time series of indicators to propose a theory. We don't need a theory. We just need logic and spatial perception. I want you to consider three factors at once. Uh, the phase change, the polarization of the magnetic field, and the momentum as the Earth rotates. What's at the base of it all? Uh, at the base? A cloud of particles over the island, and the magnetic field is charged when the Earth rotates. It's like a, like a piece of wool cloth that you rub together. It creates static energy. All we have to do is find out how these undeveloped particles are created, and we can recreate the whole process. Mind-blowing, Mr. Black. I'll create a laboratory model of the particle behavior, and Ethan, how could you? It took me three months to talk those money bags to invest in us, and you screwed it all up with what you did. Calm down, Jacob. All right? We don't need those guys anymore. Go back. Why don't you take back those canopies and that champagne that we spent on this stupid gathering so we can at least get some of the money back? Have you seen our bills, Ethan? We're one step away from bankruptcy. Hundreds of people are working for our company, and they don't know yet that tomorrow they'll be unemployed with no allowances. Mr. Blake, what is he talking about? Hey, never mind. It's nothing. Don't be silly, Ethan. Tell Steve that he has no money to repay the loans he got for his house, car, and college for his daughter, and all because you got uncomfortable around important people and ran away like a little kid. I, can, I found another way out, okay? I can stop sucking up to those bullheads already. Me and Steve were just discussing an expedition before you came running out with your hands up and all that. Are you, go are you going on an expedition, Mr. Blake? Say, shut up. You're a self-centered, egocentric asshole that screwed up the last chance to save the company that I gave you. Because I was thinking about us and the company, and the company, but you're willing to let the company sink as long as, as, as you keep your pa patents. Surprise, Ethan, your patents will turn into a mere piece of paper tomorrow because you're broke now. We'll earn the money. Thanks to the anomaly that Steve found, we're going to disrupt the entire power industry. It was you who discovered that thing? How could it not wait for tomorrow? Did you have to run to Ethan and screw up the deal? But sir, in accordance with paragraph 232, I must inform Mr. Blake immediately of any specific results of the research. And the energy anomaly is exactly that. You may terminate the contract with me, but in accordance with paragraph 1146, in the event of unilateral term termination, I am entitled to triple compensation. You son of a bitch. Jacob, stop it. Okay, look, that discovery is going to save our business. Steve, why don't you explain it to him? Mr. Blake believes that the anomaly on the island is the core fluon plasma that accumulates electrostatic charging. And what does that mean in a human language? There is a cloud of protomatter over that island that accumulates energy. It is an enormous air battery, a battery so large that it can power an entire city for, for a year. Wireless energy made out of air. That's something that Tesla dreamed of his whole life. It has already been happening. More unicorns making rainbows, Ethan. Until an idea is realized, it's merely a dream. If it is the thing, why you screwed up the merger, remember, Tesla died broke, surrounded by patents for his invention. Jake, you should have more faith in me. We decided to do the merger because we needed the capital. Okay, but the investors don't need scientific discoveries. They're going to take all of our patents and commercial stamp them and then get rid of us. But if we could figure out how the anomaly on the island creates proto-matter, we can recreate the whole process. The technology is going to say goodbye to oil production altogether. It's, it's billions of dollars without the investors, just on the principle alone. I would like to stress that without any funds, I will not sign up to perform a last passing of the anomaly. Shut up! I trust you. You were always right, you bastard. I will send an expedition to the island. The best scientists with Rambo's troops, or even Tesla's the phantom with a detachment of immortal L. You name it. But right now, we have to go to the investors. If the conditions of the deal stayed our full control of the patents, will you stop whining? Will you give them an autograph? No. I'm going on an expedition right now. Can it wait for one week? Jake, the island is gl glowing with photons like it is a Christmas tree, okay? As soon as somebody spots it, the discovery slips through our hands. We have to depart as soon as possible. We? No. I'm not going anywhere with you.
I'm Charles Frank. I'm with Green & Associates. I'm six foot and I'm reading for the role of Ethan.